Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a Joomla server on Ubuntu hosted on Google Cloud Platform. So click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing on the Google Cloud Platform. From here, you want to create a new virtual machine. So for that, simply click on launch. Now keep in mind that this image contains the full LAMP stack. After clicking launch, you would be brought to this screen where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name and choose the region or zone where you want your virtual machine to be deployed. After that, scroll down and choose the disk space according to your requirements. After that, scroll down even more and accept the agreement and click on deploy. And then you have to wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment is complete, you can access the SSH terminal for your newly created virtual machine by clicking this button right over here. So now when you're inside the SSH terminal, the very first thing that you want to do is that you want to reset the password for the root user for MySQL database. Now, there's a link in the description box which will take you to the blog post which contains a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up Joomla because that blog post contains the command that I'm going to be using. So head on over to that blog post. So these are the commands that you are going to copy and paste them inside the SSH terminal. When prompted for a password, type in mysql1234. So now you can see that we have changed the password for the root user to this password. Make sure to replace this text for your password. After that, we want to create a new user for Joomla and then actually create a database for Joomla. So these are the commands that are going to create a new user named as new user using the password this. Again, make sure to replace this text for your password. So simply copy this command and paste them inside the SSH terminal. After that, you want to create a new database for Joomla. So simply copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal. But as you can see that the name of the database is Joomla DB. So now we have created a database for our Joomla server, which means that now we can start the installation process of Joomla. So head back over to Google console. From here, click on this hamburger icon and then scroll down and click on compute engine. From here, you want to copy this external IP and paste it inside a new tab and hit enter. So as you can see, this is the installer page for our Joomla server. So it is going to ask us for our website name. So I'm just going to call it my website. And then for description, I'm just going to say the amazing website. Then you need to fill out the email address for your super user or admin account. So I'm going to call it like test at test.com. Make sure to use some valid email. This is a tutorial that is why I'm using test at test.com. And then you need to use a username for your account. So I'm going to call something like this and the password for this super user account. After typing in the password and confirming the password, I can simply hit on next. Then I would be brought to this database configuration page. So it is asking us for the username and the username is new user. For you, it would be the username that you have given in in the commands and then the password. So type in the password for your database. After that, type in the name of the DB, which in our case is Joomla DB, and then simply click on next. Then it is going to show you an overview of all the database settings that you are going with. When you're satisfied with all of these settings, simply click on install. Then it is going to install the Joomla server on your virtual machine. Once the setup is successfully installed, you need to remove the installation files from our virtual machine. So simply click on this button that says remove installation folder. After that, we simply need to reopen our IP address. So as you can see that this is our website. At the moment, it is totally empty because obviously we have just created it. But we are going to show you how you can create more content on this website by using the Joomla administrator account. So simply in front of your URL, type in a forward slash and then administrator and then hit enter. This will take you to your administrator account. Now this is the account that you have created during the installation process of Joomla. So there you go. This is our administrator control panel for our Joomla website. From here, we can create new articles, new content and redesign our whole website. At the moment, your Joomla server is running your website, but there are still some options that we would like to show you. First off is how to access the database or how to manage the database using the PHP My Admin. For that, simply copy the IP address of your virtual machine, paste it inside a new tab and follow it up by PHP My Admin. 
So you would be brought to this screen from where you can log in using the user that you have created in the SSH terminal. So this is the PHP my admin page after logging in from here you can manage your database. Another thing that I would like to show you is how you can set up a mail server or actually configure an SMTP mail server for your Joomla website. So what you want to do is that you want to head inside the SSH terminal and run some commands. So for the command simply head back over to the blog post, scroll down and find this command which is a sudo mail configuration. So copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal. But we are already running MySQL shell in SSH terminal. So to exit from MySQL shell simply type in quit and hit enter and after that simply paste in the command that you have copied and for every prompt type in yes and hit enter. After that we need to restart the services of send mail. For that go back to the blog post and copy these two lines and paste them inside the SSH terminal. After that you are ready to set up your SMTP service on your Joomla website. So go back over to Joomla control panel. From here scroll down and click on global and then from here click on server. Scroll down to mail settings. From here we can go with SMTP protocol or sendmail protocol whatever we like. For example if we were to use Google's SMTP protocol then we would type smtp.google.com and the SMTP port for Google is 587 and we need to add in the authentication for our SMTP protocol so type in an email which has SMTP enabled on it and add in the password for that particular email address and then this is the main part. Here you want to type in the email address of the sender that would be shown to the receiver and then the name of the sender and then this is the email which would receive our mail so type in the recipient's email let's say test at test.com and the name is normal user. After that you can either send the mail or save these settings by clicking on this save button right over here. Now you have successfully set up a Joomla website on your virtual machine have even configured the database using phpMyAdmin and even configured a mail server for your website. Now all there is left to do is actually write content for your website and redesign your website. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any queries regarding this tutorial then make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing of this Joomla image and also for the step by step blog post guide. And lastly if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.